Seven sneaky ways to pressure somebody's wall in Fortnite. That's what we're gonna be going over in this video. If you're ever approaching a box and you just don't even know where to begin, you'll get some good ideas from this video to end fights immediately. But before we hop into it, the sponsor of this video is Buff Gaming. Basically, Buff is a place to earn rewards from playing your favorite games. For example, you can get Steam cards, Xbox cards, gaming equipment, and more, all for free. Simply download Buff, have it running in the background while you game, and complete challenges to earn points that can be spent in the store. I love this addition to my grind because it adds extra incentive to perform my best every day. There's nothing more satisfying than seeing your buff points increase throughout a gaming sesh. Buff is a trusted app of Overwolf, therefore it's completely safe and it takes nearly zero computer power, so your gameplay won't be affected. Make your gaming experience more rewarding by downloading Buff for free using the link in the description. Now without further ado, let's get into tip number one. We're going to be starting with the normal, most optimal setup for taking a wall. What you're seeing here is the safest way to push a wall, and here's why. You have a cone on your right and underneath you, so the enemy cannot ramp over you. You have a wall to your right here, so if they try to charge out at you, you just reset that wall so they can't. You can go even further and place walls all around you so that other people cannot spray at you. And the last thing is it gives you a right hand peek on the box, so if they do edit at you, you can take a shot just like that. This is actually the most broken right hand peek in the game. You can see them, they can't see you at all. So when you're pushing the wall and you think they're gonna edit, hug the wall so that you can take this peek. Here's what it looks like from the other perspective. Now we're getting into strategy number two. This one is one of my favorites, but you need to have a good comfortability with cones. The setup is pretty simple. You wanna claim the cone in front of the box and the wall to the left. A lot of times when you walk onto this front cone, the enemies will just edit straight at you and try to spray in your face. So if you get to the side quickly, you can set up this right hand peek and catch them off guard with a quick shot. Or they'll go for a quick peek shot from their box and when they reset their wall, you can flip your cone down, shoot the wall and take it back. Back in the day, I used to like to just sit on this cone and like try to take the wall back anytime they edited, but now they'll just spray into your box and destroy that cone in a second. So you gotta be ready to edit out the side and take a peek shot from there. Tip number three is very similar to number two, so if you didn't fully understand that, listen up here. You can do the same exact thing with a ramp, and let me just tell you, any time you put a ramp up against somebody's box, they try to box you like a fish. So if you claim that left wall, like I'm showing here, they'll be left clueless and they'll just be forced to back up into their box, and you can take their wall with one shotgun shot. Or you can take a peek shot on them before they reset their wall. The next setup for a wall take is so sneaky and I learned it from Ken Beans. If you edit your ramp and floor like this, they can't cone you when you drop down on their wall. So you can wait for them to edit and try to go for a pre-fire or wait for them to reset and edit and go for their wall. Most people try to cone you when you drop down on a ramp, but you can see here if you set it up right, the cone is not gonna place and the person's just gonna be so confused on the other side of the box, which is why this setup can lead to a free wall take or just free shots on the enemy. The next trick is basically just a mind game. Whenever somebody places a ramp behind them against your wall, you assume that they're going to try to jump in your box. Whenever somebody tries to phase into my box like that, I immediately try to stop holding my wall. So if you place a ramp behind you and pretend like you're going to jump into their box, you can just take their wall for free because a lot of the times they're not even gonna be holding their wall. Tip number six is a bit tricky. When you spray at somebody's wall, a lot of times they try to pre-fire you. As soon as the wall breaks, they take a shot on you. If you can get the timing right to make the wall one shot when you think they're going to pre-fire you, they'll end up shooting their own wall and you can just be holding a wall while they shoot their own wall and take it for free. So shoot the wall until it's one shot and then pull out your builds and if they shoot their own wall, you got a free wall take. This was like the most perfect example of it, but I did not get him boxed because he was too far back. Tip number seven, the last one of the video is a simple one, just a reminder basically. If you stand up top on this corner, you can hit their floor, their cone, and two walls. So you can apply pressure in so many different places. That's something that's just good to know. A lot of people forget that you can hit the floor if you aim your crosshair right at the edge of the cone. 
Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to hit that like button sub if you're new. And don't forget to check out Buff with that link in the description. Catch you in the next one. Peace.